Well, industry experts in Malaysia have high expectations of the multiplier benefits from the high-speed railway. And that's even before the project's targeted completion date in seven years' time. Channel News Asia's Malaysia Bureau Chief Melissa Go has more. There is no official word on how much the project will cost, but initial industry estimates put the construction and land cost at about eight billion US dollars. And with those figures in mind, the proposed high-speed rail link between KL and Singapore has sparked excitement among some sectors. Among the biggest gainers are likely to be property and construction companies. Experts are predicting increased demand for property in the Klang Valley, the southern state of Johor, and possible stops along the route. You know, we're seeing it now, and that'll continue to increase in the medium and long term. A lot of Singaporeans mm -hmm. buying property in Malaysia, um, particularly in the key areas such as Iskandar, um, Johor, um, Klang Valley. Other positive effects include increased tourist arrivals and investment from neighbouring Singapore. Driven by space and manpower constraints, Singapore companies may move their operations to Malaysia as industry clusters emerge. Singapore, too, analysts say, will benefit from a rise in talent pool as more Malaysian professionals may opt to work in the island republic when travel time is reduced to just 90 minutes. This, analysts say, will help narrow the income gap between two countries in the long run. You must remember, when Singapore competes for our talent, our local companies will also have to raise you know, the incomes of the people to retain the talent. So automatically, the, the incomes of the people here would rise. In fact, she believes the benefits of having a high-speed rail link will extend to the whole of ASEAN. If you look at the global economy, everything is slowing down around the world. Um, only Asia is the bright spot uh, within this, this region. Even China and India is, is supposed to be slowing down. And if we don't do something, um, where would the revenues be coming in? KL or rather Malaysia and Singapore is actually um, moving ahead and they are actually a model for the other ASEAN countries. Linking these two cities will actually improve us on the global map and it's the right thing to do. Now while the high-speed railing is welcomed and with open arms by most people in Malaysia as well as across the causeway, many especially home buyers are worried that with the increased demand, property prices will continue to soar beyond the reach of most Malaysians. In fact, many doubt the government's effort to provide affordable housing will ever meet the rising demand of the low and middle income groups. Let's go, Channel News Asia, Kuala